Okay, we're back. We went and sold stuff. We're now at 915,000 gold. All their inventory is emptied. I have not rested either. I'm kind of like, I'm sure buffs are going to start wearing off soon. And if they start wearing off, then we will uh, rest. I'm kind of curious to see if we can do all of Stoneguard and the next dragon in one go without resting. This is a pretty place. The Valley of Silence again. Our princess wants to talk. Oh, so does that mean when Chris likes me, she uh, likes me? Well, I guess the princess has taken a liking to us for some reason. I mean, of course, like I'm, like my character's like a. 32 charisma sorcerer and is 20 with high diplomacy. I'm just trying to imagine, let's say you had uh, like a, you know, 650 year old elf or something who's just like negative charisma out the yin yang or a dwarf or something. That's kind of hilarious. The charisma isn't attractive, let's keep that in mind. It's force of personality, but still. Hello, Grandmaster. Yes. Hello to you. Robert has returned for another visit. See what you got first of all. So more like that's those are seriously good boots, but Creosa, you only have five use magic device, it's really not so good. Hmm. Long sort of insight, true scene, immunity, fear, that's good. Transcendent path plus five, but again all mux only. Plus three weapons, it looks like, at most, so nothing really crazy there. There are some potions of heal, which we'll definitely buy. What of anti-magic? Eh, okay. Yes, hello to you.
Alright, let's go ahead and rest up. Now we'll actually get level 9 spells as well. Probably get like 3 or 4 meteor swarms. Did we ever pick up Delayed Blast Fireball? I'm not sure we did. We did. Okay, cool. Don't really see us using that. Honestly, I don't really see us using the wizard's sidearm anymore either. Let's be blunt here. You know, I could honestly wear other boots and just you know, uh, you know what? We we can cast haste enough. Don't shouldn't I have boots of astounding grip someplace, or did we sell those? Whatever happened to the boots of astounding grip? Or we didn't buy them? That's what happened. We just didn't buy them. Okay. Got four meteor swarms. Cool, cool. Improved invisibility from Kurosa is going to be useless because dragons and Neverwinter Knights have true seen. And I think they're considered immune to sneak attack for some reason, too, even though fl flanked they should be entirely vulnerable. There's some weird things. Okay. We're here to fight the dragon. Now you shall taste my power. Let's go ahead and do well this. Go ahead and buff everyone. Chris, I'm probably overriding some of your buffs, but you know you're just gonna have to deal with it. Well, didn't it? I hope we're strong enough to fight the dragon. Come on, I got meteor swarms. Azor Fang is just head let you do the talking. Azor Fang. Let's see what you got, I guess. Don't I have Mistel's Acid Sheath? No, I haven't picked that up yet. Hello, Azor Fang. You have my attention. Some other magnificent blue dragon. Robert will give you a chance. Carnage free, how awful for you. You're not making me want to spare your life anymore, you know that? Just throwing that out there. In fact, let's just start setting up some empowered cones of cold here. Maybe even some maximized cones of cold.
course we've all heard of your legendary honor. <clears throat> Technically the she is probably lawful evil. We'll play along for the moment, but my patience is wearing thin. Okay then, mm. we'll kill her later in her uh, home, probably. I'm torn because I'm. I don't want to let a lawful evil dragon dedicated to killing people get away. Mm, it's grinding my teeth. Fine, we'll be peaceful here. At least she hasn't gone. And... But even saying that, like, oh, at least she hasn't gone and murdered more innocents. That's not really a. Sp you know what we'll do? We'll do this. We're going to make a save. We're going to be merciful. And then we're going to go ahead and see uh, what happens the other way around. We'll probably go with the the merciful thing here. I I don't know. I don't like the uh, again. This isn't like it's a neutral dragon or good dragon who's like on the wrong side or something. This is a vile beast who should be slain. Hello. Blah blah blah. Thought I might be able to convince you to leave. Not unless you call being able to draw breath. Shout cannot come to pass. Alright, so what do we do first? We're going to, first of all, we're going to spell breach her. So now. So now she has decreased spell resistance significantly. So let's start off with. The good old classic, Maximize Cone of Cold. She succeeded there, but she's already damaged. She's already getting wrecked here, frankly. Do you know what? Let's just go kind of over kill here. Hi. There's a Meteor Swarm. You failed. And, oh, they only took a lot of physical immunity there. So would have taken 88 damage. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Oh well, here. There's 90 damage. Oh, you're dead. But we do get, we get 1700 less experience. I don't know, look. You see, that was no problem at all. Arg. You know what? I'm not sure I've ever let her live before. So we'll do it just so we can meet her at her lair, which we'll, where we'll probably have to kill her anyway. Or get to kill her anyway, I mean. We'll do it this way. I'm not, still not sure this is the actual cor morally correct thing to do, to let her get away. I guess it makes sense if you're worried about losing in the fight. Eastern Highway, Spartan, Bronze Dragon. Hmm. Spartanly powerful for my age. Come an Avenger, huh?
Huh. A dragon, huh? I could do two, but you know, we'll just you will take him with us. This should be interesting. Well, you just said you were warning people away, though maybe there wasn't like a different guise or something, I don't know. No armor, but other equipment. Okay then, hi Spartan, you are a level 20 dragon. Attacking at a reasonable amount there. Of course, your AC and damage is uh, considerably behind Roberts. And you do have some damage reduction and all that kind of good stuff. You do have greater spell penetration, knockdown, critical creature. Okay, and then you do not have any proficiencies besides weapon proficiency creature, right? So we can't give him armor or weapons. But, at a minimum, we could start by giving him these. Dragon wearing boots, you know. Um, so we want to get a belt and other stuff for him long term. Then we are heading towards cold and maybe we can get something there for him. And then we can cast a jarmer on him. So he's up to 35 AC. So it's not too bad, I guess. And he has 28 AB. Oh, you know what else we can do? Do that. Then let's find something out here. If I give you flame weapon, does that do anything? 37 AC plus 30 attack. It's better than the least, I guess, right? Four more damage. Flame weapon did work on you. Okay. You know what, before we go any further, we should have some... Oh wait, no, there's something red up there. Red is dead, right? Yeah, go get him. So what if we were to do this? So the, that right now does 69 damage. Okay then, now let's have a wonderful heart to heart. Alright, so let's start with you, Princess. Well met. Is this why is provoking her? Not totally insensitive, huh?
<laughs> yeah, that helped you so much when Robert kidnapped you. Hmm. All right, uh, we'll do this in order of acquired. So Robert's Hello, next. Hello. She's right. Oh, so you, you know, took knocked people out instead of killing them on the, in the soldiers? Didn't really seem like it. Trace looking down at me, granted if I'm a fortune. Ooh. So why can't we like regenerate it now or re if I res you now? Yeah. third time How long is a hundred years, really? I think this is something that's normally level locked, but we're level 17 or 18 at this point, so... Also, since the text is being blocked at the top, you can read it at the bottom of the screen, because we have too many buffs.
Hmm. So it's personal. Really personal. So I'm going to test something, Greetings and at least well you uh, chill here for a second. Well met. Hello. So Korea, this is what I was looking for. Also makes says she'll make sure it's uh, returned. I think I like Creosa's interjection there more, frankly, than the princesses, than the Nelises. Greetings and well. But uh, alas, you, the, yeah, it would, it's a nightmare to try to thread like four different companions through it. I think it was, I, it was, I think this dialogue was basically all written when there were just two companions each, right? So if you were talking to Robert, you only had to worry about Creosa or Nelise or Spartan, not potentially all three interjecting. And Elise was probably just given higher priority for her interjection because she's a cleric, I guess. Well met. Greetings and well met. Yeah, Robert. Oh boy. There we go. First one, what do you have to say? My attention. Huh. 
First one. <laughs> Lesser species, force, force. Okay. I'm glad we've had this introspection. Hang on a second. His grandfather got messed up by the clerics, right? So let's say, being generous here because this is like medieval times, so let's say his mother was 35 when Robert was born and his grandmother was 70 at that point. So then we need to get up to 100 years. So the grandfather would have been like, The grandfather would have been like a hundred years old to get messed up like that, right? And if we reduce the generational gap, if say it's like 20 and 20, then the grandfather would only be 40 years older than Robert. So that doesn't work out either, right? I don't know. I guess at the time that doesn't really add up, but okay. Well, you're welcome.
Oh boy. Greetings to you. Greetings to you. You have Greetings to you. Greetings to you. Well, that is now. Okay, well, we are in Coldenay. I'm sure there's going to be a number of things to do here, but we visited the monks, we sent the dragon away, we had some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with all of our companions, had another heart-to-heart -heart 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 talk with Robert specifically. And the last video went on a bit long, so we're going to go ahead and stop this one here, uh, lest this one go on too long as well. See you next time, where we'll check out what's going on in Coldenay.